And I'm here with Kevin Lane of Isaiah 61. Kevin, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored, man. How about you? Doing great, doing great. So I hear you got a new CD out called Stay In. Tell us a little bit about this CD. Well, it, it'll actually, we'll actually debut it next week at Creekside Revival at Pigeon Forge up there with Brother Rob Pass. There's going to be about 40 artists up there, but uh, we chose a CD. At, I mean, well, let me let me go back a little bit on on the history of this of this CD here. Um, you know, the pandemic's been going on and and different things have happened. Uh, our bass singer passed away, and we was going on as a trio. And and back in the first of January, we were singing with uh, Brother Ivan Parker here in Odom, Georgia, close to the house. And I'll, Danny Brown's our new bass singer, and he he was him and his wife sitting there. They just come to hear you know hear sing and hear Ivan sing and. As I was watching them worship, the Lord said, now's the time to go talk to him. The Lord said, now's the time to go talk to him at the church. Cause, and, and you know, we're, we're skeptical about it, about some things. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, Randy Lamb is a hard person to replace, our bass, our former bass singer. He not only was our, he's a bass singer, but he was one of my best friends. And, uh, but when the Lord put that on our heart, <clears throat> excuse me, we, uh, we went to his wife. Told him what we were th- told her what we were saying about doing. She gave us gave us her her blessings. Then I took it a step further. I went to his mom and his sister, and uh, they all said uh, Randy had a saying. He called you suck. He said, "Hey sucker," he said, um, "You need to carry on with what they what he would tell you." So with their blessings, we brought in Brother Danny Brown. But just as soon as we brought him in, things started. I mean, we had a few scenes, but then things started going wrong with her. PA system and then all, you know, COVID, like I said, natural COVID was going on. And at that same time, I at that same time, I'd hurt my foot. I'd ruptured a tendon in my foot. And uh, I was on light duty working at a desk and I'm an outside person. So that, that, that just don't fly too good with me. But I was doing what I could do, you know, to keep my job and uh, be able to work while I'm out with a hurt foot. But I was sitting at the desk and this word come to my mind, stand. The acronym for it means simply trust and never doubt. And our our group is named Isaiah sixty one, and that's we're supposed to give you joy for you joy for your morning, beauty for your ashes, give you a hope, and and that's what we did. We picked out songs for this CD. There's one called "Old Death Move Along." Kneel down and pray when you face a battle. Kneel down and pray. Uh, there's no more missing people up in heaven. And there was them three original songs written by Brother Dave Williford. He's a wonderful songwriter. And I did, any groups out there listening to this, make sure you check him out on YouTube. I mean, he's easy to work with, and he'll get you what you need for it, your mechanical license and all that. But then we we had some more original songs, and uh, our soundtracks were made by Brother David McMillan, McMillan Music Studio. And But we didn't get these finished in time because we, we wanted to debut this CD at, at Creekside, so we did some cover songs. We got You're Not In This Alone. My, my favorite song in the whole wide world, All My Hope Is In Jesus. And then right next to that is we, we had two versions of Chain Breaker. We had a country version, which was a little faster, but we went back and redid the Chain Breaker version of uh, Triumphant Quartet and uh, did some changes on it. And, uh, you know, vocally, just stylistically, we did some a few changes. And actually, there's a guest voice on there. When you hear it, there's going to be a guest voice singing with us, which is Brother Doug Pittman. From the Down East Boys, he he liked it so much he wanted to sing with us. And then we have a song called "Stage to Be My Altar." I want my stage to be an altar. Altar. I want my stage to be an altar. And then no, Kate, no, no. Uh, I think it's Reverend James Cleveland wrote this song. Kate, nobody do me like Jesus. And then our last song that we got on here is called "God's Been Good." And them songs, all these songs are tied in a lot. You know, giving you hope, letting you know that till the death to gone. Because that song right there really sticks out to me right now because a little over three, this, this coming Monday, be three weeks ago, on my birthday, me and my wife was had dinner and was coming back home, and we were hit almost head on in a bad accident. And uh, Satan's tried to kill us. Satan's tried to stop, stop this group. He's tried to stop the recording. But Andrea, I mean, what God's anointed, Satan can't touch. And... Uh, you know, your life flashes in front of you real quick. And uh, when all that happened, 
trying to find out about my wife, how she was doing. My hand was broke. She's got a bone, broken bone in my hand. She has some uh, br- r- real hematomas on her knees and a sprained MCL. And But the Down East boys are, are like brothers to me, all four of them, and their families, their family. And uh, I called them, let them know. What was funny, Zach, I reckon you say funny, Zach called me right after the wreck happened. I said, bro, I can't talk right now. We've been in a bad wreck. And then when I finally got everything settled and I could talk with them, I called them and let them know that we was okay and, you know, let them know what they meant to us and all that. And then the very next breath, I said, hey, Doug, did you get the soundtracks for a new recording? And they all started laughing. He said, man, here you are, almost lost your life, and you worried about a, a, a CD. But I know the CD is important. We've done three CDs, you know, and this one right here, I feel like is, by, to me, going to be one that's going to touch lives. That's people's going to like missing people. The first verse talks about a, there's a flyer hanging in a shopping mall, picture of a daughter hanging to view. Somehow she went missing about a year ago. Hope maybe someone has good news. But then, Lord, I was reminded of a picture of your saving love where no one's ever lost when they're with you. It takes it takes the good and gives you the picture. It gives you a picture of bad and gives you the picture of good. And that's, you know, we have a hope that, you know, that, that if, if, they're, if your loved ones are saved, saint fine, filled with the Holy Spirit, and, and you live a life like that and, and fought, let God be God in your life, you will be able to meet, see them again in heaven one day when that time comes. And when you're in a battle, what better thing to do than kneel down and pray? And then when you're praying, you, you got the assurance you're, you're not in this alone, and all your hopes in Jesus. And we, we put it here, Dry Bones, just because it was a catchy tune. You know, dry bones in the valley, waking you. You know, dry bones in the valley, waking you shall live. I can say this. You know, so, sometimes you go to places to sing. You you just can't you just can't get them excited about Jesus. So we start singing this song, and kind of people kind of took it in. You know, like, hey, you know, this kind of fun song, but he had to get some you know, up on their feet clapping. But uh, you know, we got we got some good songs on here, the anointed songs. I know several of them cover songs, but you know, it, when you start, when you we've been together four years this, this year here, be four years, and our name's getting out there good now. And but I want to I want to stress, and, and this is going to sound weird to you, Andrew, but yes, I you know we're going to be doing radio promotions. I do care about the, on one aspect. I care about the charts, not because of the numbers. That lets me know our music's being played. People are hearing the word, hearing the gospel, hearing us. And uh, the, other, the other thing is, the other thing is, I'm not so heavenly minded. I'm no earthly good. Our group's not like that. We come when we come to when we come to sing, we come to minister. We're liable. I mean, if the Lord tells me to, I'll lay the microphone down, go lay hands on somebody, and pray for them with quickness. This we don't put on the show. We just we let God be God. And you know, with this pandemic going on. I, you know, there's some groups that's, you know, everybody's struggling, not just to, not just to, you know, the big groups like my buddies, the Down East Boys and, and Brian Free and the Kingsman and all them, but all the groups are, are, are struggling. But I really believe, I really believe that God's getting going to get, get start to do a sifting. And what I mean by that, people that's, that's in it for the right reason. Amen. People that's, that's, it's not just a job to them, you know. It's a ministry, and, and that's, why, that's why we stress every day, you know, if it ever got all four of us will quit the New York second. Exactly. You know, we, we believe in seeing lives change. You know, we know how quick life can change. We are, I mean, not just called we was in the accident, but, but because, you know, life, life, nothing's guaranteed in life. You're not guaranteed your next breath. But... I've started doing this when we pray, or when I pray myself. Used to, I was bad about, Lord, I need, Lord, I want, Lord, please do this, Lord, do that. No. First thing you do is give God thanks. Give him praise. Give him give Him glory. Because I know, I know that God has put this put this CD together the way it come about. And, you know, it's a blessing. We had, like I said, we had Doug uh, Pittman recording with us. That was, uh, he's a tenor singer from Down East Boys, Agape Music Studios. And a phenomenal, phenomenal engineer and producer. 
He will pull stuff out of anybody, pull stuff out of you that you did not know was inside of you vocally and stylistically. And uh, track wise, if you need tracks, David McMillan, McMillan Music, he, they're both on Facebook. You can you can give them a message. A phenomenal job. Brother David does a phenomenal job. We got, he does most of the instruments on there, but we also got Matthew Holt from Gaither Vocal Band not playing the piano on here. Scotty Sanders playing the steel guitar. And who, you know, list is, goes on to who's, whoever he put on there. But I do know that, you know, this, I feel like for this, for this moment in time, for such a time as this, this CD will make an impact on somebody's life. So throughout the time of y'all being Isaiah 61, you talk about you losing your bass singer. And how did that really hit y'all? You know, the emotions that came to your mind when you heard the news. Well, everybody, in it, like I said, everybody in the group, in it, like I said, everybody in the group got COVID except me. And uh, my wife had it, everybody, all the spouse had it. But when everybody was getting over it, we noticed Randy, Randy just couldn't shake it. Seemed like he kept, you know, he'd get, he'd have a couple of days with no fever, nothing, nothing, and it come back on him. But see, Randy had, early in, in his life had had a kidney transplant and a liver transplant, so he was fighting an uphill battle already. But he went to the hospital, wasn't feeling good, and uh, he, uh, he, sorry, uh. He said, he called me one on the way home one afternoon. He said, brother, it ain't good. He didn't have COVID. He had cancer. Hmm. It, it was lesions all over his, it was on his, on his, on his um, liver, his good liver, his good kidney. And it, it wasn't in the stomach, but it was in between his, his in, in the epidermis of that area there. And, uh, but he, he said, we, we're going to find out what we're going to do. We're going to fight it. We're going to do this. Because Randy has over, had overcome a whole lot. And uh, But with his quarantine, we hadn't seen him. We hadn't been able to get close to him or nothing. So I did, we decided we were going to do a benefit scene for him. And uh, we had some of his – he used to sing with other groups and all that. We had some of them groups come in, and uh, he uh, – he come in, brother. I wasn't prepared for what I seen. He lost a lot of weight. And he had that, he had that gray ash look to him, and just you know, broke my heart. And uh, but we, I mean, I talked to him every day, every day. And uh, when it started getting worse, they, they, he had come home, and he um, come home, and he um, he wasn't doing good, and we. And me and Lord, that's a soprano singer, Nathan, our baritone singer, was going to go over there. But Nathan, I think he was working or something. Something happened. He couldn't get there. So me and Lord went over there. And uh, he told me, he said, brother, he said, we did two good CDs. And he said, I ain't going to be on this third one. And I started crying. And I, uh, he had spit on the text a couple of days before that, though. And he reiterated again. He said, hey, he said, I'm going to get to see Jesus for y'all do. And uh, I don't know if you ever heard that song, God's Been Good. Have you ever heard it, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, well, we started singing it. And he, his voice was gone, it was raspy. He was doing all he could to sing, and he got quiet for a minute, and I was holding on his hand, and we was crying through most of it. And, uh, and uh, you hear this little voice, God's been good. In my life, I feel blessed beyond my wildest dreams, just like that. And I lost it. And it hit me hard. It still don't seem real. I keep waiting for a phone call. I still got his number saved in the phone. I keep waiting for a phone call. To, hey, sucker, what you doing? But, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask him to come back from where he's at for nothing in the world. But... It, it it messed us up, and and we you know as I said you know we was content to go on as a trio, but you know our plans are not God's plan, our ways are not His ways, and you know like I said He will never ever be replaced. You just can't replace somebody like Him. I ain't talking about the base force. I'm talking about Him as a human being. But God did send us a godly man. 
His name's Danny Brown and his wife, Cheryl, and uh, they're a wonderful addition to the group, fit right in. And, you know, we didn't realize how much we'd missed the low end until he started singing with us. And, you know, I told him, I said, look, I said, I don't want no J.D. Sumner. I don't want no George Ounce. I just want somebody that can sing the bass line. And he does that and more. He's starting to loosen up and, you know, feel more at ease. And But it, it, it was a shock to answer your question. I know I went around my elbow to get my thumb, but it, it was a shock to us. And, you know, we miss him every day. There's not a day goodbye. We don't say something or do something. Because his nickname was Uncle Fester. He looked just like Uncle Fester off of Adam's family. But we just, you know, we miss him. But, hey, we know where he's at, and we're going to get there and see him one day. That is great. So tell us what's coming up for Isaiah 61 in 2021. Well, hopefully the doors are going to start flying up. And uh, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to meddle a little bit. If you can go to Walmart and if you can go out to eat and go to work, you can have you behind in church. Go ahead now. I'm just the way it is. You know, I've heard it. Heard it time and time again. Well, I, I'm scared. Of, I'm scared I might get it at church. Well, you around more people at work than you are at church. But that being said, you know, I, I, we're praying that the doors will open up. The pastors, you know, I, listen, I know it's real. We've not, me and my wife both know people that's passed away from this stuff. But I say it like this it, it's to be mindful of, not fearful of. It's in the Bible 365 times, if I'm not mistaken. It says, fear not. Be not afraid. So that in mind, as I said, we're praying for doors open. We, uh, we're, at, we're actually going to be at Creekside Revival. That starts next Wednesday night, night at 6 o'clock. Doors, doors open at 5. Starts at 6. Starts at 6. Uh, 40 groups from all over the United States. We got them from North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, all over. But um, they're going to be singing, they're going to be preaching, and the best part is after it's all over with, we go back to the hotel in the little kitchen area right there where you have your continental breakfast stuff there. We do what they call midnight prayer. And, he, you know, they pick groups, you know, to, to lead. They will sing a couple of songs, and then we'll, uh, then we'll speak. And they've asked us to speak on Friday night about what we went through with Randy and all that and share some stories and stuff like that. But... Sometimes it's over with within an hour, but the last time I went there, one night it was three in the morning, people were praying for everybody. We had church. So if you want to come to be entertained, you'll get some entertainment. I hate to use that word, but you'll get some entertainment. But you're also going to get a lot of Jesus thrown ass in a hurry. And it's a good event. I highly recommend it. They're going to do two of them. They're doing one in the spring and one in the fall. And then... Um, we, we're going to be at uh, April the 17th. We're going to be in, I think it's Greenwood, South Carolina, with Molded Clay uh, Trio. They, we, they, that's one of their quarterly scenes they do. We're going to be with them. And then we'll be coming back Sunday morning. We'll be in Sardis, Georgia, at, e, at East Burke Baptist there with Brother Jordan Clayton. He used to sing with a group called Oasis. And uh, he's a pastor now, and he's going to have us there. And we got a few scenes strung out right now, you know, throughout the year, but Hey, we're trusting, standing on the word of God and trusting that the doors go open and people's going to start calling and getting us in there. And, and uh, like I said, when you have Isaiah 61, you're not you're not having a group that's coming in there to just to sing and get a love offering and go. We're coming in there to minister. We're coming to see lives change. We come to see souls saved, li uh, uh, bodies healed, people delivered. I mean, delivered. I mean, there's no limit to what God can and will do if we just be obedient. Well, Kevin, it has been an honor having you on the program. Tell people how they can buy this new CD stand. All right. Well, it's going, like I said, it's going to be out next week, and uh, you can uh, go ahead and pre-order it. You can reach out to us through our Facebook page, Isaiah 61 Ministries. Uh, we have a website, www.isaiah61ministries.online. But uh, the quickest way right now to get to us is through Facebook. Uh, send, a, send a private message to us. Well, as soon as they get in, we'll get them mailed out to you. And uh, like I said, uh, you can also get us for bookings. And also, you can call me at 912-269-0677. Hey, like I said, we don't charge. We never have, never will. But, uh, you know, that in mind, you know, if we're coming, Brother Andrew, you know this. You, you've been around gospel music. 
if, if you're going six, seven hours to come sing, you know, uh, Bible says work, work was worthy of his hire. Can I get an amen right there? That's right. Come on. And, uh, but, you know, but we like I said, we don't do it for money. If, if we had to go seven hours and they give us a, 150 bucks, I don't care. We go to minister. God will meet the need. God never has never left us nor forsaken us and was never seen, seen the righteous seen, begging for bread. Well, I appreciate you so much, Kevin. Appreciate your friendship. Thank you so much for coming on the program. I uh, appreciate you having us. And, and tell your buddy there I said hello. I, I sure will. Uh, God bless you, man. All right.